Hello everyone, welcome to this another UTL session on motion and time. Yes, Jai Hind, Namaste, good evening, hello, oh thank you, I'm perfectly audible and visible, nice. Hey everyone, yes I can see a lot of familiar names, one or two few good new names also, nice, welcome, welcome, hello, hello everyone. <laughs> Palak. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Anyways, you are here. No. Right. So, people, forget about account. Ko kya hua, kaun sa block hua, kya hua, na? Let's focus on the session because this is again a time to test all your knowledge about motion and time. I hope you got the, the session which I sent you on the, on the, on the channel, right? Alright, everyone, ready? And this is a mentee session. Alright, so by the way. I hope you have all, all logged in. The code is 15295726. Go to menti.com. Achha, wo main ID thi. Permanently blog nahi hota hai. It's okay, Palak. I'll, I'll have a look. Chalo, hai. Menti.com. Go to menti.com and write 15295726. Okay? 15, 29, 57, 26. All right, nice, you have joined, very good. One minute, yes. Thank you, Anita. Done. Filled, joined, ready to fire. All right, very good, Raj. Anjil, hello. Hello, Khaled. Yes, this is unit test. So this is a, a, a unit test league session, means I'll give you a form, don't worry. Achha. So people from class seventh, I hope all of you will give the correct answers. Rest of you can try because few of these answers you will be able to do. Rest you can just at least uh, explore your luck. I, I know you will go for Tukka sometimes. It's okay. Hey dear. Alright people. Chalo. Motion and time. Just be ready with all your concepts. Huh? Because this was a pretty simple chapter. Not a very difficult chapter. Alright. So here is the form on your screen people who are on menti and let me know if someone is facing problem in menti right first of all yes jai Matadi. yes come on let's start huh? fill your details very quickly very quickly fill your details your phone number your name uh, your pin code yes aag laga denge bahut badhiya ha gati and samay yes motion and time very good filled nice filled very good very good abhishek nice raj Alright, come on, make sure you fill this because it will be difficult for me to come back to this screen again. Okay, so everybody let me know when you are done. Tejas ready, Vedant ready, Palak good, very good. Are Palak cheer up, come on, it's okay. As a mulk kagani bethe. Dun dun dun, badache. Pramukda, nice. Very good, done. Oh, Chalanam and Samayam. Chalanam and Samayam, okay. No, it's not difficult to understand this. All right. Yes, you can go to uh, Chrome and and go to this website. Essay is giving point. Yes. All right. Koi nahi palak. Aayegi wapis. I'm glad you are here. By the way, it's okay. Hota hota hai. Kuch kuch hota hai. Yes. All right. So I know Marathi a little bit. I know uh, Tamil very few. Uh, Hindi English is fine. Nice. All right, people. Come on, let's let's fill it. Nothing happened, na? Live stream finished, is it? No. Live stream is going on. No, everybody. <laughs> yes, Kalad. Yes. Is it Vanakam? Anita? I'm not sure. We just used to call this. Live feed is fine, no? Everybody just let me know first of all. Because I saw one or two comments there. Oh, it's it's welcome, huh? People, if you are able to hear me and now fine, huh? Is it? Sorry, Nirav. Yes, Assalamu Alaikum. Alright people, 
mother tongue is mother tongue is hindi by the way class finished is it raj is saying fine abhishek you are saying class finished palak is saying sir kidhar gaye is there any problem technically it's all fine no because people are saying class finished just wait a second let me just uh, open youtube i don't think it should have happened like this yes people <laughs> it's going up huh? people is live because i have just opened youtube and it's it's fine shall we start everybody give me a give me a thumbs up shall we start now come on come on ready because yeah feed is fine i have i have youtube youtube opened here also good perfect bahut acche nice chalo so all of you have filled the details now let me just see how many of you are here see all right i can see 47 people are here right now on youtube it's i think there are a lot of people who are on menti but not on youtube currently is it you are red bird i'm hat <laughs> all right nice nice people come on you are 46 right now i'll just wait for another minute and then we'll start come on strawberry you are a flag huh nice volcano goat the goat is very cute by the way we have 49 is there any one joining we'll make it just round 50 and then we'll start come on people this is very important now rules in between the timer nobody will answer the question in the chat all right and chapter samajh nahi aata go ahead watch the sessions again in session we have cleared everything na nicely don't worry yo yo chalo all right people we are going to start now the first question on your screen is now come on let's do it first question the measuring devices like clocks and watches are based on are they based on rotational motion are they based on periodic motion are they based on oscillatory motion or are they based on circular motion try to answer this without getting confused and no answering if ha uh, nice very good anita you are you are saying done ha mohini nahi aa raha koi baat nahi i'll explain you even if you are not able to solve i'll explain the question don't worry about that ha हाँ थोड़ा ट्रिकी है बट इजी है यस यस पल ये मेज विजिबल वेरी गुड ऑल राइट सो ऑल दो मेजोरिटी सेट पीरियोडिक मोशन लेट मी टेल यू वेर यू गॉट कंफ्यूज आई टोल यू दिस इज इट्स नॉट अ डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन स्लाइटली ट्रिकी एंड देर इज अ चांस टू गेट कंफ्यूज क्लॉक्स एंड वॉचेस आर बेस्ड ऑन right the measuring devices like clocks and watches are based on rotational periodic oscillatory circular because i told you all these options no somehow you have noticed in terms of clocks so rotational ha huh, the, the second hand is is rotating ha huh, rotational also Peri periodic yes sir oscillatory 
सर पेंडुलम ऑसिलेटरी यस सर्क्यूलर हाँ टिप ऑफ द हैंड सर्क्यूलर सर देन वॉट बेस्ड अपॉन आर इज इट अ वॉच बिकॉज इट इज डूइंग सर्कुलर मोशन नो इज इट अ वॉच बिकॉज इट इज डूइंग ऑसिलेटरी मोशन नो इज इट अ वॉच बिकॉज इट इज डूइंग रोटेशन मोशन नो इट इज अ वॉच बिकॉज इट इज अ पीरियोडिक मोशन राइट सो पीरियोडिक मोशन इज द की दैट इज द की टू टू मेक समथिंग अ वॉच आई टोल्ड यू राइट है ना यस करेक्ट दैट्स वाई पीरियोडिक मोशन वॉज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड ओवर हेयर सर्कुलर मोशन होता है इट इज देयर ऑन द टिप इट्स ओके रोटेशन मोशन ऑल्सो देयर इन पेंडुलम क्लॉक्स रोटेशन ऑसिलेटरी मोशन इज ऑल्सो देयर बट दीज आर नॉट बेसिस फॉर टाइम कीपिंग दे आर नॉट द बेसिस टू मेक इट अ वॉच बेसिस इज पीरियोडिक राइट इट रिपीट्स द मोशन आफ्टर वन पर्टिक्युलर इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम दैट इज द टाइम पीरियड ओके गॉट दिस सो दैट्स वाई दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज इंपॉर्टेंट नाइसली ब्यूटिफुली फ्रेम क्वेश्चन ओके नाइस focus leader board after every five questions in in single session though after every five question we show the leader board right come on question number 2 nice palak i think you got the account back huh? so it doesn't it doesn't happen like that permanent thing chalo question number 2 guys question number 2 people focus the basic unit of time is come on this one is an easy question and you know what If everybody answers, the timer stops. So answer it. Come on, minute, second, day, hour. What is the basic unit of time? And no answering. Ach, acha Mayank hai kya ye? <laughs> Mayank. Come on, people. Nice, very good, very good. Done. I can see a lot of done. Ah, huh? done in one point six eight seconds. Very good. Nice. This one was easy. Easy. Acha. Still, some of you answered minute and hour. See, there are two ways this question can be asked. One is something which you might not know today. We haven't talked about like SI unit of time because in future this will come. The SI unit of time is seconds. That is also the basic unit. What is the basic unit, sir? Basic unit means, I would say we talk about minute. Yes. Can be broken down into second. Yes. We talk about hour. Can be broken down into second. Yes, right. So, just take a clue. Speed क्या होता है? Meter per second. Yes. All right. So that's why second is the most basic unit. A day was divided into twenty-four equal units. One day was twenty-four hours. One hour was sixty minutes. One minute was sixty seconds. So somehow you ended up on the base unit, no? Seconds. So second is the base unit of time. Don't be confused with this. Okay? And people. Stop fighting in the in the comment section, guys. Stop, stop. Come on. This question was confusing, ah. Just now, five question is enough. It's okay. After five question, you will see your name in the leader board. That'll be good, also. Fine, है ना? So that's why basic unit is seconds. Why? Because hour break down to minutes. Minutes break down to seconds. Seconds. Now, don't think, sir. Seconds को micro second में कर दे तो seconds is the basic unit of time. All right. It is also the SI unit of time. This is extra information for you. All right. चलो. Come on. Easy था ना? Yeah. This was an easy question. Question number three, people. Question number three. Let's see. Stop fighting, people. है ना? Chat में लाइन ही करना. Focus on the session. these are questions coming your way answer them come on oh your name is diksha all right so diksha after five questions as we will we'll see your name there don't worry a simple pendulum of given length oscillates about its mean position which of the given factors affects its time period now people who watched the session i hope you will give the correct answer because i explained this very clearly to you right a simple pendulum of given length oscillates about its mean position which of the given factors affects its time period is it mass of the bob is it length of the string is it material of the string nice very good i can see a lot of done 18 seconds ha maya id se matana yaar don't do these these things ha huh? use your own id Length of string, very good, very good. Is there anyone who missed that session? 
you remember right we did an experiment proper experiment i brought you a pendulum i brought you different different masses right and i changed the length to show the time period depends only on length not the mass not how far you drop it okay remember hai na got it right very good very good hai na yes very good mukesh nice very good provoked you remember ha so we did that experiment properly in the class itself right so that's why yes galileo galilei session so so this is for your future also factors affecting time period of a pendulum are length of string and gravity and usually when i say these two no i usually tell you gravity you can still choose to forget because you know what you are if you are on earth forget about gravity gravity is almost 9.8 right on an average you can say on pole it is more on on equator it is less that's fine but still it is around 9.8 no so earth pe gravity is fine it will remain same ha huh, length matters right can someone tell me if i increase length time period increases or decreases yes correct abhishek andro delponji 2 by andro delponji that's true अच्छा वाई टी फ्री लिया था नाउ यू कैन शेड्यूल योर क्लासेस ना देर इज अ वे यू कैन जस्ट चूज एट विच टाइम यू वॉन्ट द क्लास टू हैपन इंक्रीजेज ना 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 डिक्रीज नहीं होता इट इंक्रीजेज इफ यू इंक्रीज द लेंथ द टाइम पीरियड इंक्रीजेज इफ यू डिक्रीज द लेंथ टाइम पीरियड डिक्रीजेज ओके फाइन नाइस और राइट कमॉन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर पीपल क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इजी क्वेश्चन ओनली Oh, it's okay, Devansh. Not a problem. So the good thing about MLP classes is you can choose a time, है ना? It's I think four thirty also, eight thirty, or I think seven thirty also. So go ahead, you can choose your time, है ना? Depending on your comfortability. So there are slots. You can book any of them. चलो, question number four, people, come on. The time taken to complete a round of a park is. 10,800 seconds. Express this time in R. Easy, easy only. Just don't do calculation mistake. Ah, huh? time taken to complete a round of a park is 10,800 seconds. Express this time in hours. Nobody talks like I took 10,800 seconds to complete one round of a park. You usually tell in hours. That is the question. How many hours? Think. Come on. Nice. Palak says done. Very good. Pradeeksha says done. Very good. Okay, Tanishka, join the menti. If you want the code, I'll tell you one five two nine five seven two six. Okay, very good. Done, done. Twenty three second done. Very good. All right. Oh, six two and eighteen are also there. Means there was a calculation error, right? There was, right? Tell me, how many made calculation mistake? See, concept to you all would know. I understand. calculation mistake all right see seconds are given to you can someone tell me in 1 hour how many seconds are there in 1 hour how many seconds are there come on think 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 in 1 hour 60 minutes in 1 minute 60 seconds right correct nice himanshi 3600 that's true so in 1 hour 60 minutes in 1 minute 60 seconds In one hour, how many seconds? Sixty multiplied by sixty, thirty-six hundred. Correct. So you were given number of seconds. If you want to find number of hours, you divide number of seconds by number of seconds in one hour. Correct. So that's why seconds upon sixteen to sixty equals hour. So it ten thousand eight hundred upon sixteen to sixty. That thirty-six hundred. What will come? Three will come. The answer would be three. Simple, right? Yes. Nice. Very good, people. You know all these things, huh? Okay, you understood, but you are confused. Anjal, it's not difficult, huh? One hour means sixty minutes. In one minute, sixty seconds. Correct, right? It means in one hour, how many seconds? Sixty minutes multiplied by sixty seconds, you get total as thirty-six hundred seconds. That's why, okay? Okay. In one hour, thirty-six hundred seconds. It means in ten thousand eight hundred seconds, how many hours? Ye upon thirty-six hundred simple, easy, है ना? Right? So if tomorrow, let's say, if I ask you in the same question, how many minutes? How many minutes? How will you do it? If I give you ten thousand eight hundred seconds and ask you how many minutes, what will you do? 
Yes, one minute equals 60 seconds, na? So you will divide by 60. But I asked you number of hours. So that's why you divide it by? You will divide by what? Number of seconds were given to you. You will divide them by, in one hour, how many seconds are there? 3600, right? So that's why. Total number of seconds divided by one hour make kitana second, right? This will give you number of hours. Easy, yeah, na? Fine. Got it? Nice. Very good. Very good. Yes. 180 minutes will come. Easy, right? So that's why. Come on, chalo. Next question. Question number five. On your screen, people. Easy questions, easy questions. And make sure you are learning. If you are making mistake, it's a good thing. Yes? So, Joy. Nice name. Happy name, no? Joy. Joy covers a distance of 24 kilometers in 30 minutes in a car. Find the speed of the car. Alright. So, I'll leave this question to you. Because you should take a call. Looking at the options. I'm not giving you a hint. I'm just telling you. Before solving, no, have a look at the options and then start solving. Physics with the math aega, pakka. I can promise you, wherever there is physics, maths will be there. Done, very good, done, 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 nice. Nine seconds done, huh? very good. Done, done, done. Very good, very good, nice. Let's see. What happened here? 0 0.8 kilometer per hour got 23 answers. Okay. Alright. Achha. Missed. Wrong. Calculation mistake. Alright. Achha. I want to ask you something. Question made is given to you. Distance is 24 kilometers. Time is 30 minutes, right? Did you look at the option? Options, what was the unit and options? Anybody? <laughs> yeah, Mayang's, Mayang's answer looks a little complicated. I'll tell you. Easy one also. Don't worry. It was kilometer per hour. Right? Her body me gadbadi ho gaya. It was kilometer per hour. Did you notice? Means... Distance you will choose will be kilometers. Time you will put. See, formula everybody knows. Speed formula is what? Distance upon speed. Uh, distance upon time, no? Right? Now, if the options are in kilometer per hour, it means what? It means distance will be in kilometers. Time will be in hours. It is 30 minutes. Okay. How to convert minute into hour? How to convert minute to hour? If time taken is 30 minutes, number of hours will be how much? Sir, in one hour, 60 minutes are there. Means, right, okay, in one hour, 60 minutes are there. Alright, 30 minutes, how many hours? Half an hour. And do you remember, we always send, say this, na? Ghante mein aata I'll come in half an hour. Means 30 minutes only. So, it is half an hour. Half hours, right? So, distance is 24 kilometers. Time is 1 by 2. 24 upon 1 by 2, you will get 48. Simple, right? Easy. Yes, easy, easy question, right? All right, so with this, let's have a look at the leaderboard. All right, I can see Amar is on top. He's also the fastest. Harsh, Kavya, Abhishek, Deeksha, Physics. Nice. Mayank, Suman, Ritika and Arya. Very good people, very good. We have 10 more questions to go. Nice. Very good, right? But this conversion thing, I want you to master this conversion thing because you know what? A lot of questions in any exam you will face will come from this, okay? Please make sure you practice it. Minute to hours, hours to minute, minute to second, second to minute, hours to second, second to hours. All these things you should be very clear with, okay? Fine, all right, chalo. Oh, divided into multiplying. <laughs> no, point 0.8 came because if you divide, if you divide by, uh, to, uh, sorry, 24 by 30, it will be pointed. That's how this, this mistake happened. Question 6, people, come on. Question 6. Koi ni, it's okay, it's okay, Diksha. 
the distance covered by a moving car is recorded by easy question we have done a lot of discussion on this particular topic distance covered by a moving car is recorded by thermometer stopwatch odometer speedometer done easy hai na very easy menti code you want 15295726 15 29 57 and 26 okay yes come on easy question it's a very easy question vedant control nice speedometer you want to measure distance using a speedometer is it no it's an odometer that make that tells you distance although in common language we tell you that whole dial is a speedometer it's not actually that complete thing is not a speedometer this is a speedometer right the markings of speed the needle goes like 10 20 40 80 100 right 120 that is speedometer instantaneous speed of a vehicle but odometer is that small small portion now where actually uh, that numbers keep on changing the more more you travel that is odometer okay yes very easy yes and you remember it very good Anna? not difficult speedometer tells you speed especially with speed instantaneous speed I'm telling this to you again because you will get confused in future. Sir, speed karta hai, instantaneous karta hai. Instantaneous speed is given by speedometer. Odometer gives you distance, total distance covered. All right, nice. Oh, menti cut ho gaya. Koi nahi, koi nahi. It's okay, it's okay, Diksha. We should try our best. Technical problems hota rehta hai. It's okay, not a problem, not in our control. Menti is working. You come back, give more answers. That's important, no? Come on. Question number seven, because you still have eight more questions. Yes, sorry, uh, nine more questions, I would say. Question number seven, come on, guys, let's see. Velocity, kya hota hai? Velocity hota hai, rate of change of displacement. I'll talk about this, don't worry. Achha, hai, chalo. This is one question I'm telling you, a lot of class ninth students also made mistakes in this, but I want you to correct this. If distance time graph of an object is a horizontal line parallel to time axis, then the object is. Which graph is it? It's a distance time graph, all right. Line is parallel to time axis. It is at rest. It is moving in a circle. It is speeding up. It is slowing down. Done. Nice. 1.7 seconds. Very good. Very good. Very happy. Be happy, guys, always. Don't be sad. Done. Very good. Done. Why? Done. Done. Very good. Done. Done. Nice. At rest. Yes, that's true. See, velocity. Velocity is what? Velocity is the rate of change displacement. But I don't think you have understood displacement yet, right? So in future, class 9, you will talk about displacement also. Don't worry about that. Right now, you know distance, right? Now, distance time graph. It is a graph between distance and time, correct? Okay. Time increases, but distance remains same. You get a straight line parallel to time axis. It means speeding up is not possible. Why? Its distance is constant. No. The body's distance is constant. What does a straight line tell you? you I, I'll tell you what does it mean. You have a watch. You say, sir, I, I'll start counting from now. Body is at 20 meters. One second, two second, three second, four second. Body is at 20 meters, 20 meters, 20 meters, 20 meters. Body is not changing its position. It is at rest only. It means that. Okay? Got it? So straight line means this. What does this line mean? As you can see, as time is increasing, distance is also increasing. D time 1 second, distance 10 meter. Time 2 second, distance 20 meter. It is increasing. It's a straight line. Body is speeding up. Correct? This is still a uniform motion. This is non-uniform motion. I told you, distance time graph, if it's a curved line, it's a non-uniform motion. If it's a straight line, it's a uniform motion. Okay, got it? How can we define motion? When a body changes its position, you choose a reference. You see a body, right? If you see a body, let's say this is one body, right? If this is one body, I'm looking at it. Its position is this. It is changing its position with time. It is moving. Bas, itna hai. All right. Done, but wrong. Okay. Right, huh? Next. Come on. Easy question. Chalo. Question number eight, people. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Question number eight. A simple pendulum takes 30 seconds to complete 15 oscillations. Yes, correct, Mohini. Right? 
what is the time period of the pendulum simple pendulum takes 30 second to complete 15 oscillations what is the time period we have done a similar kind of thing in the sessions also i hope you will give the correct answer done very good nice menti got cut huh? is it for you aditya or someone else also others are others are answering so i think net issue aditya refresh na huh? done very good people done are yeah, you guys so good done wow done and correct one very good all right well done let's see let's see ah nice so people who are saying 15 seconds 0.5 seconds 30 seconds see what is time period of a pendulum if if something is a pendulum no let's say this no no i have to take something else if 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 okay i'll just use it if this is the bob of the of the pendulum right this is the string this is called one oscillation right a to and fro motion when a body comes back to the same position right that is called to and fro motion time taken to complete one oscillation is time period right now what is given to you it was it was not a physics question if i tell you it was a mathematics question sir how sir 30 second taken to finish 15 oscillations how many seconds taken to finish one oscillation simple unitary method na correct right 15 oscillations 30 seconds one oscillation 30 upon 15 seconds 2 seconds simple unitary method that is the time period also easy na max number of users join is it it should not be the case is anyone else facing this problem what aditya is mentioning when you are trying to join menti it says max number of people join huh? is it it shouldn't be like this <laughs> no right no problem na i think i don't i don't think it should be a problem but it's uh, just not with this account so i would say uh, uh just you keep on answering here only just try over there right just just uh, you can give your answers here so okay. you can still try solving the questions and i'll have a look at this all right mass is something uh, i would say matter right the total number of matter a body has we will talk about mass in future don't worry huh? mass is something it's kg only so that's why you can think of it like that now it's okay huh? okay all right come on come on question number 9 people question number 9 let's do a car moves with a speed of 40 kilometers come on come on a car moves with a speed of 40 kilometers per hour for 60 minutes and then with a speed of 60 kilometer per hour for the next 30 minutes the total distance covered by the car is how much oh heat heat we have taken vedant heat session we have taken don't worry A car moves with a speed of 40 km per hour for 60 minutes, and then with a speed of 60 km per hour for next 30 minutes, total distance covered by the car is. It's not a difficult question. Again, I'm saying you, you need maths, you need calculation. Okay, make sure you see the options. Right, I'm giving you. This is a hint for you. You see the options. See the unit of the option. Right, misclick. Oh ho, no problem. Done. Very good. Nice. No answering, people. No answering. 40 km per hour for 60 minutes then 60 km per hour for the next 30 minutes all right at least majority got it correct ha huh? nice see what is distance distance is sir speed into time all right now you have been given two segments first one speed and time is given to you second one speed and time is given to you you have to you have to find total distance right means you have to just add them right distance in the first part will be how much 40 correct 40 all right second will be 30 correct right 
40 km per hour for 60 minutes and 60 km per hour for 30 minutes. So 60 minutes is 1 hour. So means 40 kilometers in 1 hour. 40 km per hour. Got it? Correct? 100 kilometers. Oh, oh calculation mistake. Okay, so, right? So 40 km per hour was the speed. Time was 1 hour. Multiply 40 km is the distance. Second, 60 km per hour is the speed. But time is how much? 30 minutes. Not 60 minutes. 30 minutes means 1 by 2 hour, right? So speed is 60, time is 1 by 2, means 30. 40 plus 30, 70. Easy, you know? Yes, correct. Correct. It's okay, it's okay, Riksha, not a problem. See, mistakes are good, I'm telling you. Don't be so aggressive with the mistakes. Scary, sir, mistake ho gaya. Koi baat nahi. It's a good thing, but realize, I'm weak in calculation. I'll work on it, but just acknowledge that. Huh? Good, good, Mayank, nice. Oh, your mentee isn't working, Aditya. Uh, okay, Aditya, you can give the answer in last five seconds. Okay, when the timer is about the last five seconds are there, then you give the answer. Otherwise, other uh, others will uh, take your answer, na? Correct, Ayana. Very good. Anita, your mentee is also not working, huh? Okay. All right, people, question number 10, question number 10. I think the, some network issue is happening. That's why one or two, one, uh, one or two of you are saying that this, this problem is coming to you. It's okay. If anybody is facing problem in Menti like this, it shouldn't be. But if you are facing, I'll get this checked out after the session. All right. But meanwhile, you can answer in the last five seconds. Huh? Okay. Chalo, question number 10, people, come on. Question number 10. You want code. Code is 15295726. Okay. 15295726. 15, 29, 57, 26. Now, question is there. The distance time graph for three bodies, A, B, and C, are given. Which of them is the fastest? It's a good question, by the way. Okay. Now, Diksha, I gave you the code. Huh? It's a good question. I'll tell you why. Uh, code is 15, 29, 57, 26. Hmm. Nice. Done, done, done. Very good. Done, done. I can see a lot of done. Huh? Raj, done. Palak, done. Himanshi, done. Pidan, done. Pramukh, the done. Done, but not sure. Koi baat nahi. That's why I'm here. I'll tell you what is the correct answer and why it is the correct answer. Oh, thank you, Shreyasi. 15295726. Yes. See, Shreyasi has given you the code in the chat also. Huh? Thank you. Oh, nice. So, this was a good question. All of you answered well. Huh? I am happy with this. Correct. Correct. Yes. Yes. Today, there is a network problem. I think so. That's, that's one, one problem which we are facing. Chalo, okay. See. Question was, which of them is faster, right? Correct? Which of them is faster? Achha, you can only answer this question, slow or fast, if any body is moving. Now tell me, body A, body A has a distance time graph which is a straight line, means body A is sitting at one distance continuously. It is just sitting, aise karke, not moving. It means it is at rest. If body is at rest, is there any question of fast or slow? It is at rest only, na. It is not even moving. No question. Just discard it, disqualify it. You are out of the picture. The, the, the tough fight is between B and C. Okay? Right? Hey na? B and C. Right? Uh, B and C. Now, position of A to theek hai. Position of B is changing faster than C. Sir, how do we know? Okay. On the time axis, if you just put a scale, right? Just, I would say, you can put your finger also. If you put your finger at, at one point like this, hai na? like a vertical line, you will notice at same time, C is lower than B. Means, distance covered by C is lower than B. Right? It means, B is moving faster. And you know what? This is a, this is a easy thing. Slope is more. Which line is more inclined? If it is more inclined like this, means if you sit on this, you will slide faster. Zoop. If line is like this, you will slide slower. 
हल्के 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 राइट सो सी हैज लोअर स्लोप देन बी मींस बी इज मूविंग फास्टर ओके राइट पोजीशन ऑफ बी इज चेंजिंग फास्टर देन सी यस हाउ ए इज एट रेस्ट हाउ ए इज एट रेस्ट सी इट्स अ डिस्टेंस टाइम ग्राफ बॉडी ए इज लेट्स से सिटिंग एट पॉइंट राइट एट डिस्टेंस ऑफ अगेन आई वुड से ट्वेंटी थर्टी मीटर्स राइट बॉडी ए इज एट थर्टी मीटर्स क्लॉक इज गोइंग वन सेकेंड टू सेकेंड थ्री सेकेंड फोर सेकेंड एंड यू विल सी body a is still at 30 meters 30 meters 30 meters 30 meters matlab body is not even moving it is at rest right so this straight line ka matlab kya hota hai what does this straight line denote you it means time is increasing distance is not changing body is at rest simple hai na yes <laughs> oh i can see few tukkas also got correct ha huh? all right people chalo come on time for leader board again and it's okay i can see a lot of technical problems were happening so it's okay hai na don't worry nice so i can see harsh is on top he's also the fastest then we have amar abhishek physics mayank kalit arya kavya ritika and somik very good people very good very good don't worry don't worry about anything you are learning something important you are trying to solve questions in time this is difficult not everyone does this okay so please first of all think i am doing something which is tough make sure you understand what you have to work upon galti kaha ho raha hai my mistake is my weakness is calculation okay i'll work on it my weakness is formulas i'll work on it just figure this out okay important hai na and congratulations people come on five more questions to go code you want code is 15 29 57 26 26 okay 1529 Five seven two six. All right. Yes, this is the code. No oh, data over. People, no fighting, no fighting in the chat. Come on, come on. Let's see question number eleven. Let's see. Chalo. Next question. Try to solve this with logic. Alex travels a distance of twelve kilometer, starting from his home in two hours, and returns home in one hour. find his average speed in kilometer per hour this one is slightly difficult calculation is also there and concept is also there but take time hai na think look at the concept of average speed and answer this question right alex is traveling a distance of 12 kilometers starting from his home right okay and then into so he takes 2 hours 12 kilometers starting from his home in 2 hours and then returns home in 1 hour right done very good very good oh just 9 seconds very good oh diksha yeah i i understand see you know this right you are doing better it's just network technical problem is happening so it's okay don't worry hai na done very good done done people samajh nahi aaya koi baat nahi Nice majority still gave the correct answer. Very good. I'm really happy with this, by the way. Right. So understand this question. See, Alex is covering a distance of 12 kilometers from his home. First of all, in two hours. So let's say Alex went from this point to this point, 12 kilometers. Okay, 12 kilometers in two hours. Then the question says return home in one hour. Again, 12 kilometers in one hour. So you know what? Question did not tell you he traveled 12 kilometers again. The question only said. It, the, the Alex returned home. मतलब he travelled the same distance, 12 kilometers first in two hours, 12 kilometers again in one hour. What is average speed? Total distance upon total time. That's what is happening. No, total distance is 12 plus 12, 24. Total time is 2 plus 1, 3. Means 24 upon 3. Correct. Confusion हो गया? अच्छा तुक्का सही हो गया? You got wrong, हाँ? Huh? Right? So that's why important thing is concept. you know this the reason i told you this question is important because such questions come why they don't tell you that this much distance were traveled again alex from his home went to the market traveled 12 kilometers then came back to home traveled uh, in one hour so return may they will not give you distance they will only tell you he returned home matlab same distance so we have to assume ke alex same raste se aaya hoga right that he must have traveled the same distance it's not like in between he went to his friend's place and then came back okay this is the assumption you have to make but that's important okay acha little between 8 and 12 huh? right so that's why these questions are very important they will come again and again all right so 
Average speed is total distance upon total time. Total distance is 12 plus 12. Total time is 2 hours plus 1 hour. 2 hours in going, 1 hour in returning. Total time is 3 hours. That's it. 24 upon 3, 8 km per hour. Easy, right? Nice. Very good, very good people. Chalo, come on. Question number 12. Let's do. Oh, <laughs> 24. Calculation mistake it is then. It's, it happens. When you are in pressure, no? We tend to make calculation mistake and that is what happens in exam. But I'm really happy you are doing it today. At least you'll be aware in exam. No, it's important thing. So, bharosa rakho, aap log galti karo, acha kar rahe ho. Just be, have faith in you. If you are doing a mistake, it's good you are doing it now. Better than exams, okay? Chalo, question number 12 people. Question number 12, come on. The speed of a train is usually expressed in? Very easy question. I would say just answer it very very soon. Everybody just answer it. Timer will stop. Meter per hour, kilometer per minute, kilometer per hour, kilometer per second. Fir gaya menti. I think some problem is happening in menti today then you are saying. Huh? 15295726. I mean I can't open menti because I am looking at your chat on the phone today. All right, kilometer per hour. Nice. Hey, why is it meter per hour and kilometer per minute? Yaha bhi tukka. Achha, wrong because of becoming fast. Misclick, I understand. So these wrong answers are misclick, it means, huh? We know this, no. The, the speed of this train is itna kilometer per hour, right? Always, distance between two or more stations is measured in kilometers. Time is measured in hours. That's why speed becomes total distance covered upon total time taken, correct? That's why it is kilometer per hour, all right? Nice. Good, good. All right, chalo, very quickly. Thirteen question. Let's see, the odometer of a car reads 57,324 7, km at 8.30 am. What is the average speed of the car if at 8.50 am the odometer reading has changed to 57,336? See, don't be, don't be afraid of these numbers, alright? Focus, first of all, you know the concept. Try to solve it because it's not difficult. The number looks scary, it's just that. Done. Nice. Very good. But yeah, easy, right? Right. Confused. All right. See, this is the odometer reading, by the way. Alright, let's see. Majority is correct, that's a good thing. See, what you need, you want to find speed, right? So you want distance, you want time. But look at the odometer readings. 57324, 57336. Just subtract them, you'll get 12 km, right? Time taken will be 830 was the starting, 850 was the ending. You just subtract it, no? You'll get what? 20 minutes means 20 minutes you convert to us, what you get? Distance is 12 upon number of hours, that is 20 upon 60. Simple, right? You get 36 km per hour. Question difficult nahi hai. I told you. The numbers look scary. You just have to make sure that you look at them properly. Don't be scared of them and just solve it. Okay? That's it. Alright. Chalo, come on. Very quickly. We don't have time, people. Let's finish this last two questions. Easy questions only. Very quickly. Come on. Which of the following is the correct path for one oscillation of a symbol pendulum? It's okay. Some technical problem is happening. I understand today. Just focus. It's okay. Not a problem. See, four options are P to R and back to Q. Q to P, P to R and R to Q. R to P, P to R and R to Q or P to R. Look at the positions basically. You know what is one oscillation, right? So, 
the basics will help you in this question yes nice yeah yeah i understand <laughs> all right so majority got this correct that means you understand what is one oscillation right see it's a two and from motion you should start in one position and you have to come back to the same position right if you start from q q to p back to q then to r then back to q to and fro motion that's what we call an oscillatory or a two and fro motion over here right and that's how you get the time period also so that it is one oscillation fine all right chalo last question for today and then we'll look at the leaderboard all right come on let's see last question galat ho gaya at least you learned something new important right analyze the given table and choose the correct distance time graph for the given data this is also it's a more tabular to graphical format right we have done this before so i am hoping you will get this correct ha huh? come on easy easy look at the table look at the graph match it out and just give me the answer correct done the answer was that p to q back to p then to r then back to this one Diksha, which question answer you are asking? I'm not sure. I think you are asking about that one. No, 12 upon uh, 20 minutes, bala, right? So it was 36. All right. Again, majority is correct. That's a good thing, by the way. Look at the table. Time is zero. Distance is zero. Time is three. Distance is five. Six, ten, nine, fifteen, twelve, twenty. Do you notice in equal intervals there is equal distance being covered? Three to six, three seconds. Sorry, three minutes. Distance is. 5 meters 6 to 9 3 minutes distance is 5 meters 9 to 12 3 minutes 15 20 5 meters right it's a straight line right slope is what 5 that's why the answer becomes straight line of a distance time graph and it's a uniform motion that's why it's a straight line chalo come on the final leaderboard let's see nice So Amar is on top with fourteen thousand two hundred sixty-six points. Then we have Harsh, Abhishek, Kavya, Mayank, Khalid, Ishan, Toshani, Gavit, Naman. Very good people. Very good. So just analyze yourself where you made a mistake and work upon that. That is the whole concept of this Menti session. All right. So make sure you're a part of Telegram group. Everything good comes there. All the notes come there. All right. And you know this. I don't need to tell you. We've got you covered. Right. You believe that. Next session will be data handling unit test on 22nd July Friday at 5 p.m. and make sure if you think you got the questions right, if you think this was a good session, like it out, share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel. That's the everything I would say. And take care. कोई बात नहीं यार ranks अफेक्ट नहीं पड़ता है. Take care. We'll meet again in the next session. Till then, keep learning and bye bye.